Hey folks, welcome to the channel. My name's Shane and this is Performance EV. Hi folks, thanks for watching. When I first started doing this video series, I wanted to capture every stage of the project. So today we're gonna go look back at something that I haven't actually covered in the videos, though some of you might have seen that the job's pretty much done and that's refitting the interior. So we started off with a beige interior. I prefer something a bit darker. I managed to get a, a black interior um, for pretty good value. So I completely stripped out the car. We've got a couple of videos um, for that. And then I went and put the new uh, interior back in. I think it looks really good, but why don't you guys take a look at my efforts and see what you think. The rear carpet, rear most carpet in place. So we need to be careful and get it around the uh, wiper motor without doing any damage to the wire or anything like that. Now we want to put on the carpet that covers the um, ECU and relays. Again, that's not it's pretty easy now with all the trim panels out. Now you still want to pull it up a little bit in the middle. All right, next we want to start putting the side trim panels in place. Got it here. All the clips are intact, so we should just be able to push it in place. That's that trim panel, panel in place. Try and get this side in as well. Gonna leave the uh, the rear one only loosely attached for the moment because I do need to work on that wiper motor. got both rear uh, C-pillar covers up and in place. I think it might be time to start doing some more carpeting. Actually, in hindsight, this middle section is going to have to come up. Rear seats, rear seat sections in. Now 
Now it's time to fit the front carpets. Yeah, they'll get in somehow. selector, the um, parking brake, and then get things like the seats in. For now though, uh, we're also going to quickly deal with the um, rear panels. Now to fit the rear seats, I've bolted in the middle uh, torque screw, now I just need to do the two at the side. Last thing we need to complete this part of the car are some rear seat cushions. Now they are probably the easiest thing to fit given that they are just held on by Velcro. So the only thing that could possibly go wrong here is that I would put the wrong one in the wrong area because there is a left and a right. And there we go, rear seats fitted. So, having just given the rear seats a try, I don't think I'll be using them very much more. Uh, not really built for them. 
but they're pretty comfy. Uh, it's for someone smaller than me. All right, so we're gonna refit the remaining trim panels along the A pillar and up into the top. So the trim panel up, I had to stretch the um, clips a little bit. I guess they'd gotten a little bit, uh, a little, a little bit compressed in their previous previous location. So we're going on to do the other one now. We'll do the same thing. We'll expand the um, the clips a bit to make sure they stick in. Now it's time to fit the dashboard. In theory, replacing this should just be the exact reverse of taking it out. Um, I'm hoping so. We'll see how we get on. So it turns out replacing it is the exact opposite of removing it, which means if you knock things out of position, like the air vents that go in behind the dash, you need to put them back in position before you start trying to reinstall the dash and that'll save you at least an hour. change the covering on the instrument binnacle. It's just a question of taking the clocks out by undoing a couple of screws on the underside and then attaching the new binnacle to it and then everything just clips back in place to reverse the, the original uh, removal. With the dash in, it's looking really good. Um, now that that's nice and secure, we can start to put the center console back in. I've removed all the uh, leather panels from it. Um, I'm either gonna find replacements for them or leather paint them uh, black so that they're in keeping with the rest of the interior. Uh, 
And it turns out moving, removing and reinstalling the center console is much easier when you do actually remove the gear knob. Um, there's just basically a circlip that holds it all in place. With the center console in place, we can now look at replacing, putting the seats back in. The first thing to do is actually to reconnect the electrical wires underneath that allow you to control the um, the seat position. Uh, it's much easier to do that before you've bolted the seat down than afterwards, as I found out. Now we need to put on the, the new door cards. Um, these are units from a boxer and they don't actually have the space behind them for the um, bassier 911 speakers. So I'm taking out the um, speakers in the bass boxes for the moment, um, just putting the door cards on with nothing behind them. And the door cards themselves fit on pretty easily. They just slot into the space at the top and then clip in along the sides with a couple of bolts to secure the handles in properly. So there we have it, fitting a, an interior into a Porsche. Uh, not the easiest job in the world, not the hardest either. It just takes time and needs to be worked through methodically. I am really happy with the outcome. Uh, obviously it's not complete as you saw in the video. We still lack a steering wheel, um, so I can drive it with the the old one, but then we've got a, a bit of a two-tone interior going. Um, I'm hoping I can get one of the three-spoke three, three spoke, um, steering wheels that were available on some of the Boxsters and 911s of the era. Uh, I think it's a pretty cool upgrade, um, so I'll try and get my hands on one of those. If not, or if I can't get one reasonably priced, um, I'll just buy a black four-spoke one, uh, which will still look uh, really good. Um, so yeah. Thanks for watching. Um, if you've liked what you've seen, um, we do have the other videos on the channel. Um, please, if you haven't already subscribed, feel free to subscribe. That way you'll hear about uh, new videos as we release them. And you know, click the notify icon if you want to get um, alerts for that sort of thing. If you've liked what you've seen, please like the, the video on, on YouTube. And if you've got any comments, please leave them. Um, I'd love to hear feedback and I'll um, try to respond as quickly as I can to any questions. But for now, thanks for watching and uh, see you next time.